Inger Lehmann Formans was a Danish seismologist and geophysicist. In 1936, she discovered that the Earth has a solid inner core inside a molten outer core. Before that, seismologists believed Earth's core to be a single molten sphere, being unable, however, to explain careful measurements of seismic waves from earthquakes, which were inconsistent with the Earth having a single molten core. Lehman analyzed the seismic wave measurements and concluded that Earth must have a solid inner core and a molten outer core to produce seismic waves that match the measurements. Other seismologists tested and then accepted Lehman's explanation. Early life and education Inga Lehman was born and grew up in Osterbro, a part of Copenhagen. Her mother was Ida Sophie Torsleff, her father was experimental psychologist Alfred Georg Ludwig Lehmann. She received her school education at a pedagogically progressive high school led by Hannah Adler, Niels Bohr's aunt. According to Lehmann, her father and Adler were the most significant influences on her intellectual development. She studied mathematics at the University of Copenhagen and University of Cambridge in interrupted by poor health. She continued her studies of mathematics in Cambridge from 1910 to 1911 at Newnham College. In 1911, she returned from Cambridge feeling exhausted from the work and put her studies aside for a while. She developed good computational skills in an actuary office she worked in for a few years until she resumed studies at Copenhagen University in 1918. She completed the Candidatus Magisteriae degree in Physical Science and Mathematics in two years. When she returned to Denmark in 1923, she accepted a position at Copenhagen University as an assistant to J. F. Stephenson, the professor of actuarial science, career. In 1925 Lehman became an assistant to the geodesist Niels Erik Norland, who assigned her the task of of setting up seismological observatories in Denmark and Greenland, based on her studies in seismology. In 1928 she earned the Magister Scientorum degree in geodesy and accepted a position as state geodesist and head of the Department of Seismology, at the Geodetical Institute of Denmark led by Norland. In a paper titled P. Lehman was the first to interpret P-wave arrivals, which inexplicably appeared in the P-wave shadow of the Earth's core as reflections from an inner core. Other leading seismologists of the time, such as Benno Gutenberg, Charles Richter and Harold Jeffries, adopted this interpretation within two or three years. Lehman was significantly hampered in her work in maintaining international contacts during World War II and the German occupation of Denmark. In 1971 the interpretation was shown correct by computer calculations. In 1952, Lehman was considered for a professorship in geophysics at Copenhagen University, but was not appointed. In 1953, she retired from her position at the Geodetic Institute. She moved to the U.S. for several years and collaborated with Morris Ewing and Frank Press on investigations of Earth. Earth's crust and upper mantle. During this work, she discovered another seismic discontinuity, which lies at depths between 190 and 250 kilometers and was named for her, the Lehman discontinuity. Francis Birch noted that the Lehman discontinuity was discovered through exacting scrutiny of seismic records by a master of a black heart for which no amount of computerization is likely to be a complete substitute. Awards and honors. Lehman received many honors for her outstanding scientific achievements, among them the Gordon Wood Award, the Emil Wickard Medal, the Gold Medal of the Danish Royal Society of Science and Letters, the Taj A. Brandt Reg Seligert, her election as a Fellow of the Royal Society in 1969, the William Bowie Medal, and the Medal of the Seismological Society of America in 1977. Thank you.
She was awarded honorary doctorates from Columbia University in 1964 and from the University of Copenhagen in 1968, as well as numerous honorific memberships. The asteroid 5632 Inga Lehmann was named in her honor and in 2015 Inga Lehmann got in recognition of her great struggle against the male-dominated research community that existed in Denmark in the mid-20th century, a new species named after her, Globacorna singlemani sp. n. Jiri Hava and Amp, and as Leth Damgard, 2015. In 1997, the American Geophysical Union established the Inga Lehman Medal to honor outstanding contributions to the understanding of the structure, composition, and dynamics of the Earth's mantle and core. On the 127th anniversary of her birth, Google dedicated its worldwide Google Doodle to her. A new memorial dedicated to Inga Lehmann will be installed on Fruplads in Copenhagen in 2017. The monument will be designed by Elizabeth Tobro. Key Publications Lehmann, Inga, P. Publications du Bureau Central Seismologique International a. 1487-115. Bibliography. Lehmann, Inga. Seismology in the Days of Old. Eos. 68. 33-35. Swirls. Lady Jeffreys. Bertha. Inga Lehmann. Reminiscences. Quarterly Journal of the Royal Astronomical Society. 35-231. Bibco, 1994QJRAS, 231 W. Kushel, Bjorn, 